Hey everybody, it's Dina with Paper Guacamole, and look what I received, Royal Mail. Um, I received Happy Mail today from my friend Allison in England. Hey Allison, um, this was a nice surprise to receive in the mail today. So I haven't looked it, at it, I did open it so that I could just kind of slide things out. Um, Allison is someone who I met through Pocket Letter Pals, and this is when I was um, really working on pocket letters and doing letter exchanges with the ladies that I exchange pocket letters with. So we have kept in touch, even though I have kind of fallen off the wagon with my pocket letters. Um, I do love doing them. I just have kind of moved on to trying to put journals together and other paper crafts. But anyway, uh, let's see what she has. So she sent me... I just love getting letters. She sent me a three-page letter, which I will read later and respond to. And guys, you know, I really encourage letter writing and snail mail. Um, I know that we love to send people happy mail and goodies to craft with, but there is just really something cathartic about sitting down and choosing a pretty colored gel pen and stickers um, and writing a letter to someone. It's just a really, to me it's a time capsule. It's just a really awesome way to kind of take a snapshot of what's going on in your life right at that moment. You know, there's something really exciting about preparing a letter and decorating the envelope and, you know, maybe if you're like me, choosing some vintage stamps to use as postage and sending it off to someone. Um, there's just something really awesome and fun about it, um, especially when we can just text someone or take a selfie or um, film a YouTube video to someone, you know, and send it to them. I've done a kind of a video diary to a friend of mine in Virginia in the past, but my, my love and what I love to do is send a letter and obviously to receive a letter. Receiving a package is just a bonus. So um, thank you, Allison, in advance. I know I'm going to love whatever's in here. I will read your letter. Um, and let me share with you what she, what she sent me. So she is in... The, she's in England in, um, let me see here, she is in, I don't know if it's a county or you per se, but it's Worcester, um, Worcestershire, that's what it is, anyway, um, and she's just awesome, and you know, paper crafting is huge, I mean, I know it's huge in the U.S. and in Canada, it is huge in the UK, right? So she sent me um, these awesome stamps from Hunky Dory Crafts Limited and they're little um, air balloons. How pretty. Oh, and actually, let me open it up because it looks like it's a whole pack of things. Let's see here. So I live in Corpus Christi, Texas, which is kind of, it's South Texas, um, where I'm not on the southernmost tip by any stretch of the imagination, um, but I do live on the coast. Uh, Allison loves the beach. Um, so she sent me these Hunky Dory, oh, they're actually dice, metal dice, cutting dice, of these um, air balloons and clouds. How adorable are those? Thank you so much. She also sent me, ooh, an embossing folder. And it is, uh, there's a lighthouse and there's the water and there's pebbles in the sand and some beautiful um, clouds, which I just noticed coordinate with the clouds 
in the um, die set. And then on the other side um, are some stamps. Sun, Sea, Sand. And it says, wish you were here. Wish you were here too, Allison. Thank you. I treasure your friendship so much. And it has just been awesome corresponding and sending letters um, after almost two years of, of, you know, meeting each other. So, you know, there's just a beautiful umbrella and a sand castle and shells. And just how fun is that? And I love that embossing die. That to the side. She also sent me a stamp magazine, Creative Stamping, the UK's number one stamping magazine. Sorry for the glare. I was trying to get some light when I did this video. Um, I normally, when I say normally, I've done two videos uh, using my iPhone to record. And wouldn't you know, my iPhone did an update this weekend and it's not accepting my password. It's not authenticating me with my fingerprint. So I don't know what's going on. So I'm actually recording with my Android. Um, and I think if I remember correctly, the video is a little fuzzy, but hopefully it won't be too bad. And I'll be working on resetting my password for the iPhone and getting that up and running, which I did try working on. I'm not kidding for almost three hours today. So I am not technologically savvy. I really fake it to make it in the whole phone technology realm, which is probably why I like writing letters now that it, that explains a lot, Dina. But anyway, um, back to... <laughs> See, I got I went off on a tangent here. Um, Creative Stamping book, the UK's number one stamp magazine, and it has a ton. I'm going to turn this light off. See, okay. All right, that, let me do this. Okay. Not as bad, but okay, I'll just tell you what's in here. Um, it's basically autumn, autumn stamps. Um, there's pumpkins. There is, I don't know if that's a hedgehog, maybe. There's a black cat. There's a gorgeous little squirrel. Um, a bird, some leaves. And it has these really awesome uh, sayings. It says, every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. That's Emily Bronte. And then autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. How gorgeous. Albert. Camus. This is Let's Go Nuts and A Magical Day. Thank you. A spooky treat for you. How fun. Let's see. Let me open this. And these are just some examples of cards that they made with the attached stamp stamps. So it just says a few ideas to start you off. Um, ideas are always helpful. Okay. And this goodness. Must I do that every time? Okay. So um, 109 stamping ideas for you to try. So we'll see if you can't get Do a quick flip through. They talk about textures here. Um, you know, we do that with the multi. I feel like um, the journals, the junk journals that are made. I mean, they're they're multimedia for sure. You know, we have fabric, we have paper, we have stamping, we have dyeing, we have embossing. Um, there's all kinds of ribbons and you know metal pieces and charms and I love kind of flipping through books like this to get ideas for pages and journals um, I like to you know get ideas for color combinations and that type thing even though I may not necessarily do like this project it's just kind of fun seeing you know the burl you know a stamped page um, with the burlap background and then stamped images um, on top, you know, just kind of the layering, which, you know, if you're a beginner stamper like me, I have not mastered layering at all. Um, so this is kind of fun just to get ideas. Let's see here. Lots of cards. 
card. This is a technique of stamping and adding gilding flakes, which coincidentally, I'm gonna, I did receive some gilding flakes. If you don't know what gilding flakes are, I'm going to attach a video of a project that inspired me to order the gilding flakes and maybe do some decorative envelopes with. So um, anyway, it talks about the gilding flakes. Then they have advertisements for dyes. Oh, Halloween. So here's some, a cute little Halloween card. Some little Halloween candy boxes. A wreath. Gosh, seeing all these autumn images, I mean, it really, it's, it's right around the corner. Now in South Texas, we don't have four seasons. I mean, if you, do, if you don't include like hot, hotter, hottest, and super hot, like that could be four seasons. But um, we, you know, we have a lot of oaks uh, where I live, oaks and mesquite trees. And the oaks, oak trees do go through the changing color of the leaves um, to some extent, but then they just kind of drop off. And mesquite trees, they don't really change leaves. We don't, I don't really have any other trees in my area that I could compare to, but um, just looking at the fall colors, it's really just reminds me that, you know, Halloween's coming and Thanksgiving and maybe it will cool off a little bit. Um, we've had winters here where it maybe gets down to, you know, in the 40s, maybe in the 30s for a couple of days. It'll usually be raining, so it'll be freezing rain. It'll be sleet. It does not snow here. Um, I've had Christmases where I've been in shorts and a tank top because it's 89 degrees outside, you know, 90 degrees. So we definitely don't have traditional weather here in the sense of four seasons. And it's going to be interesting to see kind of what the fall and the winter brings to us as far as weather here. But I still do like the autumn colors, even though, you know, we don't really get too much of that here. These are fun. They have like a ton of ideas for cards. Another thing um, I would do when I was working on pocket letters, and I think I'm going to make one and um, show you a pocket letter, or maybe I can show you some that I've received in the past. But basically, they are the plastic sleeves that people use for when they collect, like maybe baseball cards, and you have the plastic sleeves. They're like nine, you know, three rows of three. And you basically, they remind me of just making ATC cards. You make nine different ATC cards in a theme. Um, maybe I would be doing one, for example, as an autumn theme. And one of the pockets may have, you know, I'll stamp a squirrel and maybe put, you know, some bling or something. And then in the next one, I would do um, a leaf or something, you know. And then you, you basically make do a layout of ATC cards on the front. And then on the back part of this plastic um, pocket letter sleeve, you stick little goodies in there. So you could stick, you know, bling, lace, stickers, um, eight different things, or you don't have, you know, a tea bag, maybe you'd put uh, some tea in there or a Ghirardelli chocolate square fits perfect in the back of a pocket letter. And then one of the squares would be your letter. And, you know, or you could do um, mail tag if you're not familiar with mail tag. You know, that might be something you could do with happy mail. You know, send someone a letter, but, you know, if you really kind of want to get to know someone a little better, you do a mail tag, and uh, you complete two of them. You complete your questions and answers with your answers, and then you, you complete a card with questions that the recipient you sent your pocket letter to will complete 
and mail back to you in their next pocket letter or maybe in their next handmade card. You know, it didn't always have to be a craft project. One of the things that from the get-go I connected with a lady in Virginia. Her name is Michelle. Super awesome lady. Super creative lady. We decided since we were newbies to the pocket letter pals that we would exchange letters in between pocket letter projects. And so in an effort to get to know each other better, we, um, you know, we would do mail tag. We would write letters. We would um, sometimes I would use like some really cool vintage stationery. Um, another lady that I met, her name is Anita. She's in Nevada. She, it's all her fault. She got me into vintage stationery. Um, so when I would write Anita, sometimes I would use the vintage stationery. And then I met Allison through Pocket Letter Pals. I thought it would be really cool to exchange craft projects and letters with someone uh, in England. And, you know, she has made me just some awesome pocket letters. She made me a flip book. We've done mail tag, um, sent postcards to each other, happy mail. And so, I don't know. I, I think I've, this is probably the second time I've talked about it. So, I'm going to show you just as an idea, you know, what a pocket letter is you know, sending them to someone, maybe showing you a letter, you know, that I've, maybe not reading the letter, but showing you kind of how I put the letter together because it doesn't have to be expensive, kind of like us. We just use what we have on hand. Um, whenever I write, you know, Allison, for example, I know that I'm probably going to write a lengthy letter. So I will just use regular wide rolled notebook paper, decorate it with washi tape and stickers, I love blingy gel pens. So I will, you know, write like on the first page in a green blingy gel pen with like a decorative green washi. And then the next page I might do in a beautiful purple color and use purple washi and, you know, that type thing. And just kind of make it fun and very whimsical and very just kind of anything goes as far as, you know, um, decorating the letter or you know you don't have to decorate it at all um but anyway so that's what sorry these images reminded me of kind of what a pocket letter um one of the cards in a pocket letter would look like so really really cool thank you so much allison i cannot wait to put this to use and um, write you all about it. So that came together. Love it, love it, love it. And she sent me, she's so sweet. Oh, oh she sent me these by Hunky Dory Brand. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make it easy on myself and open it here. I guess, I don't know if they're stickers or um, ephemera or both. Oh, wow. Check this out. So, um, this is by Hunky Dory. Um, the theme, I guess, is called Beside the Seaside. And these are called Adorable Squarables <laughs> Ocean Waves. So, it has a beautiful, um, it's ephemera. There's these beautiful cutouts. Um, there's a wave and a lighthouse and a beautiful seagull, which looks like many of the seagulls we have here, and a lighthouse. And these, this says, Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. So do I, sweetheart. Love it so much. I live here. Um, here's another one that's beside the seaside. Adorable Scorable by Hunky Dory Crafts Unlimited. Um, this is called Floral Shores. And it's um, more birds, more seagulls with um, a floral background. Sorry for the glare, everybody. Um, oh, this is a nice, like, background. That would make, check this out, guys. That would make an awesome cover to a journal. And there's another one here. 
Um, and it's it's heavier than cardstock. It's almost like a car light cardboard, if that makes sense. Because I guess cardstock in a way is a cardboard, but this is like a heavier um, weighted cardboard. And it has a beautiful little whale here in the corner. This is a, a like a shimmery polka dot paper. Got he has some clouds. I have another paper with a seagull. These are eight and a half by eleven. Another image of um, the whale on the corner, almost like a watermark. It looks like it's because it's so light. Um, I don't know if you can see this. This is a bird. I have another bird here. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a heavier, like a cardstock with a seagull in the corner. Sorry, my um, Project One Runway sewing machine is in the way. Here's another beautiful, like a cardboard piece for a journal cover. Look at that. Love it. Love that color. It's like a beautiful sandy beige. Love it. Oh, this is neat. This is a lighthouse in the corner. And here, it's like a, a seaside depiction. There's like a little boat and a house. and Love it, Allison. Oh my gosh. We don't have stuff like that, like this here. Um, at least not where I live. Here's another little image of a little village and look how sweet it's all coordinating here is that beautiful hot air balloon here's like a, a cloud pattern with polka dots a little almost like a checkered or a hound's tooth some more paper of course I guess if I wanted to I could write a letter and use this as Stationary. There's another piece. Oops. There's another piece. And they're um they're really just kind of like a muted, almost like a super light watercolor um, you know, image on here. Let's see. There's another beautiful lighthouse. This is called Coastal Moments by Hunky Dory. Sorry for the glare, but it has this beautiful gold foiling here. And it's called Beautiful Boy. That is the, the name of this um, ephemera sheet. And this is called Seaside Stroll. It is so pretty. I'm just in love with that the sandy color. And I think because it is outlined in gold or a gold foil, it just really makes it pop. Love it, love it. Thank you so much. In here, because I did everything backwards, this is called a uh, Hunky Dory Card Making Collection. So let me see. Oh, this says the UK and US's leading craft TV, ch TV channel, Create and Craft. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Um, create and Craft. <laughs> so um, it's on Apple TV, Amazon, I'm gonna have to check that out. Um, super cool. So, Hunky Dory Card Making Collection. So this is a, um, I guess it's like a, a monthly issue of a magazine that I haven't heard of before. And look, it talks about the kit. It talks about the kit that I just showed you, all the papers that are in there, the stamps, the embossing folder, the, the metal dies. How cool. Hints and tips. Love it. All right. Awesome. I won't show you every every page of this, even though I totally could. Um, I'll show you a few things. I mean, just look. Isn't that fun? Lots of awesome, awesome ideas and ways to use what she sent me. How awesome. 
Love it. Allison, thank you so much for my happy mail. You are so sweet. I truly appreciate it. I cannot wait to read your letter and respond to it. Um, for everyone out there, thank you for subscribing and thank you for um, hanging in there with me through my video recording <laughs> woes. Um, hopefully, I will get my iPhone unlocked and ready to go. But in the meantime, um, have a good one and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.